do not move your fingers, okay? Period. Uh, you want all the movement to come from your wrists. Uh, your finger's only purpose is holding on to the string, grabbing the string. You actually want to lock them in place. Support your finger with the ones behind it. So you don't want to be doing this only when there is really no other way of doing it. Always keep this region of your hand in contact with the neck, okay? Always. This is your pivot point. Don't put your fingers straight onto the string, but more sideways. Um, it's, it's almost a perfect 45 degree angle, depending on where you are. And now you want to start doing this rotary movement. Always keep your hand on there, okay? Number two, the gap. <laughs> I always used to think about this gap in here. Um, it really helped me in the beginning. Uh, when doing pull down vibrato like this, think about expanding this very gap between your hand and the side of the neck, okay? Um, and can't stress this enough, always keep your hand on there. When pushing up, think about closing the gap. The basic motion is the exact same. Uh, it's still all about this pivot point and the wrist movement. Uh, but instead of pulling down, you wanna push up. But everything we've talked about applies to both motions. 